All right, I'm at Adam's place. Uh, he said he'd be getting started about seven, but he uh, overslept by four hours. So I'm here earlier than I said I was. And here we got the motor kind of mounted. I don't like this side. That's not good for it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this side, we had to replace this mount. The stud's broken because, because Adam. And then that plate was part of the old automatic shifter plate. And, uh, eh, it needs to be rotary bird and boxed a couple times, but I think that will work for his engine mount. But I want to stiffen it up with some, some, uh, some plating. So that's something I'll work on when I get it to my house. Injection pump leaks at the throttle shaft. So when he gets his, uh, fuel pin and governor's ring kit, we're going to pull this all apart and, and replace that. Um, also... The thing is, uh, I think it's stuck on advanced timing because it, uh, um, it, it, uh, lopes. All cylinders are firing. As soon as you rev it up, it, uh, runs just like mine, but, uh, when you let it at, at an idle, it, uh, it lopes. So, what I do know, I can't show you because he locks it like someone's going to steal it, but, uh, in the back... Where I would, where I would, where I put my temp sensor, he has the uh, advanced timing sensor. It's broken and that needs to get replaced. Um, I think what it is, is it's stuck on advanced timing, and that switch doesn't really work anymore. So I'm hoping his uh, uh, cold, uh, cold advanced sensor or uh, motor there is not broken. Um, so otherwise. Uh, we got some issues. It looks like we need to get a T fitting because this has a hydro boost thing on a jigger and we need to get a hose to go down there and then uh, bring it up here and have a reservoir. Um, we're using the same power string line for a van with the 69 diesel. There's a sleepy head himself. All, Morning, all dolled up and ready for YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah. Another new battery? Yeah? Yep. Yeah, I'll show you the inside, but we have to cut the floor. He refuses to cut the floor, but we have to cut it anyways because the transmission won't fit right. We gotta do the fuel tank. I'm gonna get the drive shaft unbolted and get it back up into that transmission there and, and whatnot. It's bolted up. Kinda. Just, if anybody ever swaps a Cummins into anything, just do a truck. Just do a truck, and yeah, we would have been done like months ago. So, I got his drive shaft in there. It's bolted up, it barely fit. I had to take a cap off and slide the thing in sideways and see where we at. Yeah, we have just a little enough room for it to move in and out. It's about a quarter of an inch but um his suspension doesn't really move around a whole lot back there so it really takes a lot for that drive shift to move in and out i've tested on mine i, I can get my suspension in full drip and it won't even move out so um he should be good so that's in uh this thing is using a i think it's a t18 and then we have a yeah a t18 in there and then uh uh, what, what else does he have? Uh, and then it's a 28 spline. So it's a, it's a heavy duty, right? But then they put a 28 spline. And then my truck over here, also with the 4, 4BT Cummins, um, it came, it's a half ton and it came with a 31 spline. So this thing is a three quarter ton 28 spline. It's, it's just stupid. Stupid. There. There's actually still room to do stuff in here. We can even take the cover off and do the KDP thing. So, yeah. I found one bolt here for this lower one here. I don't know where the other one went for this side. I think the key thing is to get this thing running into where we can make it kind of reliable to get it to my house so we can do the final touches there. Because what I want to do is I want to weld that bracket to the frame. It's holding the engine up, and then I want to box it, and then put a different mount on there. Um, first off, I'm going to rotary burr that thing so it'll fit better. 
so the stud will go in and then come down so and then so we'll re reinforce that and then should be good to go on that and he's got my old my old turbo on there so it's still good it just I wanted a bigger inlet on mine get a little bit more sound out of it and it works pretty good with that turbo pretty good fuel economy got his cooling fan attached this is the same one that I got on mine um, his is a little bit closer to his radiator which is good so I'm, I'm thinking he'll work a little bit better without a fan shroud I need to make a fan shroud for mine actually I'm gonna be putting a spacer just like this one on it so I should totally just do that like now <laughs> all right kind of give a quick little blitzkrieg here <laughs> damn it damn it Adam I ain't touching this stuff he can he can deal with that um, but I clean underneath and around the van so it's a lot better night there was a big tub of oil I cleaned up there's still some crap in here needs to get out but spiders um, yeah it's pretty much the same I've been cleaning and working on this here so I got this pipe out of here I cut the factory strap and unbolted the one on this end so I got this crap out of here um, I gave him my old exhaust and he lost it it like is somewhere in this van or in the shop it we don't know where it's at um, but we have this one here that's just straight up three inch um, so I'm thinking if we like cut that end off to get it clean and then if we cut and shorten that end and weld it together we can make it go down and then curve so I might take care of that since I I now know how to weld or at least get stuff physically made it together um, I don't know if you call it welding but so we're gonna go get a package of little clip things for the top of the grill Got it all that back together. Bolt out. I just gotta put the bumper back on and get this stupid thing out of here. Now we're pretty much just working on what we have wiring to tidy up. I'll take care of that later, but we have a uh, power steering we need to hook up. We need clamps, radiator hoses, fill the transmission with oil. We need to rig up the clutch and then deal with the fuel tank. Bob's your uncle. So here's Adam, hard at work. He got his little pin out nub out. Almost. It's home stretch. The pin is looks like it's stuck. You can just use a nail. Yeah, he was just using a nail to knock that pin out. There you go. Bob's your uncle. So I got the um, power steering return line hooked up. This one has a uh, hydro booty. Uh, Reservoir on it. And we just we just put a little fiberglass reinforced T on it. Some new hose, new clamps. And that's all good, and we'll fill it up with fluid when we get a uh, we get another hose to go over that, and bring it up here in a little reservoir or, or a plug at least. And then we gotta get an upper radiator hose for a Ford and stretch the one end, put it over here. And then the lower one, we gotta get the lower Ford hose, have him come out, and we gotta get an exhaust coupler. I'll we'll probably weld a bead onto it so it. It doesn't come apart um, so then we'll take care of that and we'll have a cooling system we already got the fan on here um, took the uh, DuraSpark box out and we'll uh, fi finalize that ignition wiring and we got the temperature wires right here comes out of this plug here and then the other wire uh, is going to the oil pressure thingamajigger and uh, yeah, we're almost good to go. And then the alternator wiring, all the wiring I'm gonna take care of when we get it over to my house. He doesn't like my wiring job. No, I, I don't, I got it, it has to be taped up. You know, and I, and I have like some of the weirdest wiring too. It's, the ends are cobbled together, but the actual like harness part is good to go. So whatever, but I'll take care of it when we get to my place. Okay, so we're kind of taking a little break here. We're uh, messing with the shifter here. I think we're gonna go with that modified f-250 shifter we're just gonna it's pretty awesome <laughs> I like it 
I think we leave it like that. We're gonna, I'm gonna, when we get to my place, actually I'll bring my welder over, even though he has his, I like mine, because it's mine. I'll just get all this paint off of here and I'll just weld a nice bead around there and grind her all down. Take the shifter out, we gotta get a big wrench for it, take the shifter out and weld that in too. Get it nice and party. You know the only problem with the steel is, is that we'll have to cut that end again if we ever have to take that stuff out of there, but I think we'll be fine. Well, if you'd like to see more on this van and also my uh, my truck, hit the subscribe button. I get post videos almost every day whenever I get a chance, so. There's Bubba, Bubba Smith right there. Hey, I'll tell you what, I, I was looking for that Bruce can swear my wife hit it again, stinks yeah. in the ring. Yeah, mm -hmm. hey, you got some cola or something? Uh, I don't got any drinks, we're gonna have to go get some. Uh, yeah. We're gonna have, we need to go get that radiator hose too, so we should yeah. get some sodas. Yeah, definitely. Because I uh, came to drink this and I was like, it's warm, it hurts. Yeah, here we go back to 7-Eleven. Uh, yep. All right, see you guys later. Snoop Dogg!